Guys, what's going on? James here. And first things first, I have a request for all of you guys. Please go to the community tab on my YouTube channel and vote in the latest poll talking about as to whether some of you guys could slash would be able to attend a Buccaneers game watch meetup uh, thing that I might be doing later on in the season. So if you guys would be able to go vote in that poll, it would be greatly appreciated. But now on to the next episode of the Buccaneers training camp journey. Very, very good day of practice. Bruce Arian said it best whenever he said in his recent press conference you know the Buccaneers won tonight I completely agree with that I was impressed by all aspects of the Buccaneers game you know on the offensive side of the ball on the defensive side of the ball and even on special teams they looked really good they looked absolutely phenomenal I was impressed big plays by all three of the units that's where you want to see a complete team and during this uh, you know day of training camp this night of training camp whatever have you the Buccaneers looked like a really complete team you know each unit of the game you know got some plays in got some highlight moments and it was very refreshing to see and I even saw some guys in that practice that you know really stood out who you know have kind of been flying under the radar a little bit so again very refreshing practice to see it was very very nice to see talking about some of the guys who most impressed me first two guys I want to talk about Devin White Jack Sitchie Devin White exactly is advertised guys you know how he is as a blitzing linebacker um, definitely definitely was happy with what Jack Sitchie was doing especially coming off of ACL surgery he came in looked phenomenal as a blitzing linebacker looked phenomenal as a, a run-stopping linebacker in tandem with Devin White. They both had some phenomenal plays in yesterday's practice. So seeing Jack Sitchie and Devin White going out there and having, you know, these breakout performances during the 11-on-11 drills was amazingly refreshing. I was very happy to see that. Another guy that I was very happy to see, Jeremiah Ledbetter, who, you know, he's been looking impressive. He's definitely been flying under the radar as well. He's been out there with the first-team defense on a couple of occasions. So again, to see him go out there, do some really nice plays. I know, um, you know, Real Talk Perez and the other guys in the chat were shouting him out. So, you know, it was very good to see him go out there and make some really nice plays in his own right. I think we could see him getting a lot of playing time in the preseason as well. So that was, again, very encouraging thing to see. That other defensive end position, I think, is definitely up for grabs. William Golston, you know, he still might be the favorite for a spot like that. But again, lead better. You definitely can't count him out under any circumstances. Another two guys I was impressed with, MJ Stewart, Mazzy Wilkins on the uh, defensive back side of the ball. You know, again, those two guys had some really nice pass breakups. I don't know if Mazzy Wilkins had an interception yesterday, but MJ Stewart did as well. So again, those two kind of guys definitely flying under the radar, definitely have some insurmountable odds, um, you know, an uphill climb, whatever have you. So for both those guys to go out there, have some really nice pass breakups in the case of MJ Stewart having an interception in his own right. Again, very awesome to see, very good, and they could really do uh, some good on the Buccaneers defense defensive back depth chart. Another couple of guys that I want to talk about real quick that really impressed me besides all the guys that I just mentioned. Tanner Hudson, he was catching basically everything that was thrown his way. Some really good catches in traffic. You know, he would have a guy right on him and he would still catch the ball. He did that a couple of times in yesterday's practice. So Tanner Hudson, I thought, made a very good impression. I thought that he made some really good noise. Obviously, he's competing with guys like Anthony Alclair, Jordan Leggett, and guys like that for that third tight end spot. So to uh, see him go out there, make some really good plays um, in the tight end position was very, very cool to see. He did a phenomenal job yesterday. Also, another guy who I was impressed with, Jameis Winston. He's looking better and better every day, guys. I know people were worried about it. He's looking better and better every day. Yesterday, I think, was one of his best days of practice. He looked so good. He was throwing on the run. He was doing the play action. He was hitting Mike Evans on the deep ball. Winston looked really good, and it was very good to see. He's been getting better and better every single practice. And then finally, the star of practice, in my opinion, and I'm sure in a lot of your guys' opinions as well, if you watched that live stream that I uploaded, Matt Gay, the kicker. And I know Matt Gay missed a couple of kicks, whatever have you, but the guy hit a 62-yarder. He hit eight kicks in a row. He had a 50-some yarder, a 57-yarder, a 62-yarder. He probably could have hit a 65-yarder and maybe even a 70-yarder if he wanted to. It was so awesome. It's been it was one of my favorite moments in training camp because he just wouldn't miss. The crowd was cheering him on. The team was cheering him on. The man was just nailing all of his kicks. He was on fire last night. And I know a lot of people are saying, "Oh, just give him the job already." Santos has looked pretty good in his own right as well but man last night it almost felt like a you know a, 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 a final nail you know what I mean to secure Matt Gay's spot uh, obviously he's not been perfect I believe he missed a 38 yarder yesterday but to hit a 62 yarder you know 
having that kind of ability to hit those long field goals, especially in crunch time situations, it can be really valuable. I've seen a lot of people comparing him to Seabass and Matt Prater and stuff like that. Uh, you know, Brandon McManus, some of those better kickers in the league, you know, could definitely be a possibility. Just gonna have to be something we wait and see for, but Matt Gay left a very good impression on me. I know a lot of you guys, he left a good impression on yesterday as well. And definitely a lot of people in the Buccaneers training facility, I thought went away with a very good impression of Matt Gay and his just absolutely strong leg if you guys go and watch the live stream and listen to it Matt Gay's leg literally sounds like a cannon whenever he hits the ball it sounds so powerful it sounds so strong Matt Gay you know hey you know he he's a very good kicker in my opinion and I, you know I'm very confident in his abilities moving forward and uh, I said this last night during the training camp either Gay or Santos whichever one doesn't make the Buccaneers roster I have you know no doubts in my mind that they're going to end up on another team you know come preseason or come the regular season because this kicking competition has been so good and both guys have looked absolutely phenomenal but Matt Gay hitting that 62 yarder last night that was a really feel good moment the chat was into it I was into it the crowd at the Buccaneers training facility was into it. I could gush for hours about kicker Matt Gay, but um, you know, I'm just going to stop here and say he had a really good practice. But guys, let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Again, if you haven't already voted in the poll on my channel community tab, talking about as to whether or not people could slash would be able to attend a Buccaneers game watch up meetup thing later on in the season, please go vote in that poll. Let me know what you think about this latest practice down in the comment section below. I highly recommend you go watch the live stream where I had a lot of the plays going for over an hour, you know, highlighting some of the plays that were done. There was a lot of good plays there as well so again highly recommend you go see the live stream highly recommend you go vote in the poll in my channel's community tab and i highly recommend that you comment down below what you've thought of the buccaneers training camp so far up to this point but anyway guys thank you so much for watching hope you all enjoyed until the next video and the next live stream i'll see you in the next one but until then and as always guys goodbye for now and go bucks